So that's the wings. This song that's playing right now um, is actually well. Uh, it's also in the game Assassin Blue that I've made. Um, so I actually I know one guy recognized it, but it's it's probably hard to tell unless like you've really like played Assassin Blue recently and heard the song. But yeah, uh, like this is basically the same song. Prophecy made like a, a MIDI version of this, like really low quality. I think that was like his uh, like preliminary like test version of the song before he actually finished it. And that's what he's in Assassin Blue. And this is like the actual like full quality like song that he put together from that. It sounds a lot nicer. Another thing about this game that was kind of special, oops, killed myself. Another thing about this game that was kind of different from the other games is that this is the first game I made um, in college. And the, I mean, like the difference was that, uh, and usually when I'm working on a game, it's like I'm by myself in my room kind of put it together and then I'll put a demo once in a while and that's when I get comments on it. Here I had a lot of people who were like living on my floor with me and if I was working on something I could always like show someone who's like down the hall or even in the same room as me and say like, you know what do you think of this? How does this look? And get pretty instant feedback on that. Oop. This part's pretty intense. This is like the last like major like enemy string before you get like the final sword, which kind of makes enemies obsolete. Oh no, I got shot. And of course, my tendency to skip all the health pickups probably isn't helping me out too much right now. And yeah, there's some bugs with the collision. I mean, not okay. I mean, it works how it's supposed to, but basically because like the erratic way the lines work, you can get caught like on like the small ridges on the inside of walls, like right there, which just causes a couple problems for players. I mean, for the most part, I mean, I think in like most of the major areas of the game, it's not a problem, but it's still pretty annoying sometimes. And for that, I apologize. But overall, I mean, I, I kind of like how it ended up. I really, like, it was like a lot of fun to like really like get down there and like use like the pencil tool to like draw every little ridge and stuff. Alright, so here we go. Now I have the sword from Sword Buster. And now I am like a badass motherfucker and these guys are all dead. Oh yeah, there's wire in this game, you know, no big deal. I basically, that was kind of just a random last minute decision that I made. I was just making a room and I was like, I need like uh, another level hazard for this. And I just had to put in water. There really wasn't a lot, a lot of thought to it. It just was sort of, I think it was, it was built into the engine that I made the game with. So it wasn't like really challenging to get in there. So just into something else to mix up the game for a little bit.
those little red dots, um, for those of you who never figured it out, they're, you know, they fill up your magic bar. Some people, I mean, I mean, it's like from the beginning, like it's kind of unclear what they're supposed to be for. They're just for collectibles, um, which I didn't. I mean, like some people thought that was kind of weird that they were collecting and didn't really know what they were for. I thought it was fine, you know, something a little mysterious that gets revealed later. And I think that once you people figure it out, it's kind of cool. Anyway, so here we go, final boss time. I made this boss over the course of like a day. Oh, never mind. That was a lie. It took me a bunch of days, different sittings. <laughs> um, I mean, it, it felt like I spent like a couple days, like kind of digging around, sort of putting the mechanics together, but it wasn't working too well. And then one day, I really just sat down and like put it all together at once, and then it came out really well. Yeah, this boss is pretty challenging if you haven't gotten every health pickup, like me. So. See how I fare at this. He has this like yellow reflector shield that sends back any like laser beams you send at him. So for the most part, the good, the best way to hit him is to come at him like with your dash and sword. But he lets down his shield when he attacks for like meteors and stuff. So that's prime time to get some hits in. This attack. Oh god, only one hit left. Oh god. Can I do it? I probably can't. I'm probably gonna die. Oh no, he got me. All right, I'll try it again. My, I really like did not explore at all. Pretty awesome. Okay. This song I use here, back to the place when it's named for the boss fight, has actually a really, really cool, like, Halloween-y intro to it, but, uh, because I wanted to start off like a real kick, I had to take it out. If you, like, get the soundtrack on Game Jolt, I think you can actually hear the full version, which is really sweet, and I kind of recommend that you do if you like the songs in this game. A lot of people say they like the soundtrack, which I think is cool, because it is a very good soundtrack, and I agree. One thing that I, I did for this game to try and keep like the whole theme of like your evil is that um, your character is solid black, and so is like your your filled health like on the little notches up there. Health that is filled is black, but health that's empty is white. And when you're hit, you flash white. Same idea with this guy's attacks too. All his like beams and stuff are either white or yellow. I mean, which seems kind of obvious, but um, it was like something I actually put some thought into before I did it. Because when I was when I was like through, like the damage animation stuff, I thought like red would make more sense since I don't know, it's sort of a more universal like you know her blood color. But 
I had the idea of using white. I also had the idea of changing it so that your health bar went from right to left, like sort of reverse order. But uh, I didn't come up with that until like the last day before they had to put the game out, and by then it was kind of late to make something like that. Shit, dude. I almost won too. All right. Yeah, I do suck. All right, one more time. So yeah, a lot of people complain about this game's difficulty, but I don't know what they're talking about. I think this game is really easy. It's probably too easy, actually. I should have made it harder. I'm not dying enough. For those who don't recognize it, this little grapple attack the Angel uses is supposed to be like the same move he uses at you in the beginning when he takes your powers away. But the difference is that now you come back with like your powered up laser sword, so when he does that to you, you can break free. There's little touches like that I put in, like I really wanted it to make sense kind of in the context of the game. Like why is it that you could escape? Why you can fight him with the laser sword when you couldn't fight him before and the same idea with like the barriers that block you from going back up, like why you need to get the sword to get back out. Sometimes in games, like you'll have, uh, like, like when you have like a door to unlock or something, it's kind of arbitrary. Like it'll just be like, I don't know, as soon as you get the item you need, the door will kind of like open, or the person who was standing in your way will move for reasons that are kind of unclear that aren't really related to the fact that you got the item. Here, I really want it to be like you know, you get the item and you have a very specific purpose that you use it for. In my defense for my suckiness at this boss, I really like am not anywhere near having full like health pickup ability. This is probably about half of like the final what you're supposed to have when you fight him, so you know. There we go. I got him guys. Bam, and he's dead. Yep. I remember this sequence in particular, it was about ten o'clock PM October thirtieth. And uh, it was time to go party for Halloween, but I really wanted to get this game done. So I ended up staying in like an extra hour to get this particular segment finished before I went out. And then by the time I got out, everyone was already drunk and it was kind of like, I kind of missed the party. So that was kind of lame. But yeah, whatever. I think this is really cool. The whole lightning thing. In case you didn't get it, you've kind of caused the apocalypse here by killing like the angel <coughs> king. Michael or Gabriel or whatever. So your hero isn't really a hero, is he? If that wasn't clear. Yeah, no, your hero is not really a hero, no. Kinda of cover that in like the first line. I stopped paying attention after you ruined home stuff. Alright, well. Cool. So go me. Thanks for watching my developer commentary. I was actually pretty sure it I feel like could have said more. But I finished the game, so that's all you get. See you guys. Okay.